Austin's business community was hoping to be part of the solution. Last fall, they announced ATX Helps and its ambitious goal of raising $14 million to build what's called a sprung shelter. It's a tent-like structure that can sleep hundreds of people. But two months into the fundraising efforts, they still do not have nearly enough money. KXA's Eugen Cho joining us live to explain what's next. Robert, Sydney, I'm at the governor's homeless campsite, which is on 183. Since this site opened back in November, the number of people staying here has been steadily increasing. You can see some tarp that people have put over their garage base to keep the wind out. Well, this was always meant to be a temporary solution until something like the sprung shelter could be built. In just the last couple of days, ATX helps push its fundraising past the six figure mark, but it's still far from the goal. Nonprofit Solid Ground Ministry and Lighter Lowe's ATX block parties give people who are homeless a chance to get some basic services. Showering, food, clothing, um, hygiene items, of course. Afterward, the recipients go back to living unsheltered, under bridges, or hidden in the woods. Whatever boxes they can find to go over their heads, whatever shreds they can find to kind of make a tent or a, a covering of some kind. The sprung shelter is meant to meet that need by giving people a place to go right now. A low barrier shelter that just about anyone can walk in to sleep and receive services so far. So we are proud to announce that we have raised um, about three hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars plus another million dollar pledge. That's one tenth of the coalition's $14 million goal. Our end of quarter goal was just that. It was a goal. We are hopeful and optimistic that with our ongoing conversations with companies and other organizations and individuals that we will meet that goal in time. ATX Help said as long as they can get $2 million, they can get the structure up, but they still need to hit the larger mark to operate the shelter for two years. We recognize that the need for this type of shelter is immediate, and so because of that, we will continue to fundraise and reach out to those potential donors until we reach this goal. The coalition told me today they've identified a handful of potential sites for the sprung shelter. They say those options are owned by the state, county, city, and even private landowners. They will not tell me the location of those sites, but they did say all of those are relatively close to services and transit options. Live in Southeast Austin, Eugene Cho, KXAN News.